Bodie, what do you got? Hey, you're eating deer poo. Come, come on. <laughs> Crazy dog. You are just like Tucker. You love your deer poo. Crazy. Well, me and Bodie are in that same general area <clears throat> where we were the other day where he found that piece of that moose skull. This is a nice looking spot up here too. Look at all these oaks. I'm surprised when they cut this over the last 10 years, they've been taking a lot of oak. Hey, pretty dog. Well, we are primarily out here for some exercise, but also to do a little scouting for rifle season. But because I'm in this big patch of big oaks, we're also gonna be looking for hen of the woods. I also wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we found, <laughs> Bodie's found a lot of deer poo. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we find an old antler up here. Awesome. We're gonna head around this way, get up on top of this flat. You can see all those brown leaves. Those are oak trees. Pretty much everything else has already lost its leaves. Pretty ledgy up here, that's for sure. Well, I'm a little bit surprised, but I don't think I should be because we're up on this oak flat and there are literally hundreds of mature oak trees up here. And there are hardly any acorns on the ground. And the reason I say I shouldn't be surprised is because I have a ton of big mature oaks on my property right around my backyard. And last year, there were literally hundreds of thousands of acorns on the ground this year. There are not. I mean, there's some, but they're not like they were last year. He's got his nose in the air. Hey, where are you going? Bodie. Come. I don't want you chasing any deer, any bear, any porcupine. Come. One, two, three. Hey, there he comes. Good boy. Come on. Come on. What is it? You smelled something. Come on. All right, well, we came back down the hill. Uh, Bodie was on the scent of something. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but he was very interested in it. I just wanted to get him away from that area. Um, funny enough, um, we've had five labs. Bodie's the fifth. Tucker, our last lab, was the only one that we had that did not get tangled up with a porcupine. And the last thing I want is for this one to get tangled up with a porcupine. So I put him on a leash. I brought him down the hill away from any smell. And uh, we're going to finish up our hike. Been a nice hike. I, uh, I really like this area, but I don't think I'll hunt this flat maybe more than once. Uh, you know, during the peak of the rut, it might be a good spot to see a buck passing through. But there's not enough acorns on the ground for me to think the deer will be feeding in here. 
down the hill, that's a different story because there was a lot of uh, blackberries and moose maple and stuff like that that they were feeding on. So we're going to head back to the truck. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Peace. Modi, come. Come. Yeah. We just jumped a deer straight out just beyond those brown ferns. And he went up that hill. He blew once. I haven't heard him blow again. I say him, it. I couldn't tell if it had horns or not. Bodie, Bodie heard the blow and stopped and looked, but he was more preoccupied with eating wood. Are you got a tick on you? Oh, damn ticks. Ticks are crazy this year. And they're little. There we go. Damn ticks. Hey, are you a dog or a woodchuck? Hmm?